Can shoes spread the COVID-19 virus? The likelihood of COVID-19 being spread on shoes and infecting individuals is very low. As a precautionary measure, particularly in homes where infants and small children crawl or play on floors, consider leaving your shoes at the entrance of your home. This will help prevent contact with dirt or any waste that could be carried on the soles of shoes. The virus that causes COVID-19 is in a family of viruses called coronaviridae. Antibiotics do not work against viruses. Some people who become ill with COVID-19 can also develop a bacterial infection as a complication. In this case, antibiotics may be recommended by a health care provider. There is currently no licensed medication to cure COVID-19. If you have symptoms, call your health care provider or COVID-19 hotline for assistance. The prolonged use of medical masks can be uncomfortable. However, it does not lead to CO2 intoxication nor oxygen deficiency. While wearing a medical mask, make sure it fits properly and that it is tight enough to allow you to breathe normally. Do not reuse a disposable mask and always change it as soon as it gets damp. Medical masks, also known as surgical masks, are flat or pleated. They are affixed to the head with straps or have ear loops. Most people who get COVID-19 have mild or moderate symptoms and can recover thanks to supportive care. If you have a cough, fever and difficulty breathing seek medical care early, call your health facility by telephone first. If you have fever and live in an area with malaria or dengue seek medical care immediately. Drinking alcohol does not protect you against COVID-19 and can be dangerous. The harmful use of alcohol increases your risk of health problems. Thermal scanners cannot detect COVID-19. Thermal scanners are effective in detecting people who have a fever, example, have a higher than normal body temperature. They cannot detect people who are infected with COVID-19. There are many causes of fever. Call your health care provider if you need assistance or seek immediate medical care if you have fever and live in an area with malaria or dengue. There are currently no drugs licensed for the treatment or prevention of COVID-19. While several drug trials are ongoing, there is currently no proof that hydroxychloroquine or any other drug can cure or prevent COVID-19. The misuse of hydroxychloroquine can cause serious side effects and illness and even lead to death. WHO is coordinating efforts to develop and evaluate medicines to treat COVID-19. Adding pepper to your soup or other meals does not prevent or cure COVID-19. Hot peppers in your food, though very tasty, cannot prevent or cure COVID-19. The best way to protect yourself against the new coronavirus is to keep at least one meter away from others and to wash your hands frequently and thoroughly. It is also beneficial for your general health to maintain a balanced diet, stay well hydrated, exercise regularly and sleep well. To date, there is no evidence or information to suggest that the COVID-19 virus transmitted through house flies. The virus that caused COVID-19 spreads primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs, sneezes or speaks. You can also become infected by touching a contaminated surface and then touching your eyes, nose or mouth before washing your hands. To protect yourself, keep at least one meter distance from others and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. Clean your hands thoroughly and often and avoid touching your eyes, mouth and nose. Spraying and introducing bleach or another disinfectant into your body will not protect you against COVID-19 and can be dangerous. Do not under any circumstance spray or introduce bleach or any other disinfectant into your body. 
These substances can be poisonous if ingested and cause irritation and damage to your skin and eyes. Bleach and disinfectant should be used carefully to disinfect surfaces only. Remember to keep chlorine, bleach, and other disinfectants out of reach of children. Drinking methanol, ethanol or bleach does not prevent or cure COVID-19 and can be extremely dangerous. Methanol, ethanol, and bleach are poisons. Drinking them can lead to disability and death. Methanol, ethanol, and bleach are sometimes used in cleaning products to kill the virus on surfaces, however you should never drink them. They will not kill the virus in your body and they will harm your internal organs. To protect yourself against COVID-19, disinfect objects and surfaces, especially the ones you touch regularly. You can use diluted bleach or alcohol for that. Make sure you clean your hands frequently and thoroughly and avoid touching your eyes, mouth and nose. Five G mobile networks do not spread COVID-19. Viruses cannot travel on radio waves, mobile networks. COVID-19 is spreading in many countries that do not have 5G mobile networks. COVID-19 is spread through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs, sneezes or speaks. People can also be infected by touching a contaminated surface and then their eyes, mouth or nose. Exposing yourself to the sun or to temperatures higher than 25 degrees Celsius does not prevent the coronavirus disease, COVID-19. You can catch COVID-19, no matter how sunny or hot the weather is. Countries with hot weather have reported cases of COVID-19. To protect yourself, make sure you clean your hands frequently and thoroughly and avoid touching your eyes, mouth, and nose. Being able to hold your breath for 10 seconds or more without coughing or feeling discomfort does not mean you are free from the coronavirus disease, COVID-19, or any other lung disease. The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are dry cough, tiredness and fever. Some people may develop more severe forms of the disease, such as pneumonia. The best way to confirm if you have the virus producing COVID-19 disease is with a laboratory test. You cannot confirm it with this breathing exercise, which can even be dangerous. COVID-19 virus can be transmitted in areas with hot and humid climates. The best way to protect yourself against COVID-19 is by maintaining physical distance of at least 1 meter from others and frequently cleaning your hands. By doing this you eliminate viruses that may be on your hands and avoid infection that could occur by then touching your eyes, mouth, and nose. Cold weather and snow can not kill the new coronavirus. There is no reason to believe that cold weather can kill the new coronavirus or other diseases. The normal human body temperature remains around 36.5 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius, regardless of the external temperature or weather. The most effective way to protect yourself against the new coronavirus is by frequently cleaning your hands with alcohol-based hand rub or washing them with soap and water. Taking a hot bath does not prevent the new coronavirus disease. Taking a hot bath will not prevent you from catching COVID-19. Your normal body temperature remains around 36.5 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius, regardless of the temperature of your bath or shower. Actually, taking a hot bath with extremely hot water can be harmful, as it can burn you. The best way to protect yourself against COVID-19 is by frequently cleaning your hands. By doing this you eliminate viruses that may be on your hands and avoid infection that could occur by then touching your eyes, mouth, and nose. The new coronavirus can not be transmitted through mosquito bites. To date there has been no information nor evidence to suggest that the new coronavirus could be transmitted by mosquitoes. 
The new coronavirus is a respiratory virus which spreads primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes, or through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. To protect yourself, clean your hands frequently with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Also, avoid close contact with anyone who is coughing and sneezing. Are hand dryers effective in killing the new coronavirus? No, hand dryers are not effective in killing the 2019 NCOV. To protect yourself against the new coronavirus, you should frequently clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Once your hands are clean, you should dry them thoroughly by using paper towels or a warm air dryer. Ultraviolet UV lamps should not be used to disinfect hands or other areas of your skin. UV radiation can cause skin irritation and damage your eyes. Cleaning your hands with alcohol-based hand rub or washing your hands with soap and water are the most effective ways to remove the virus. Do vaccines against pneumonia protect you against the new coronavirus? No. Vaccines against pneumonia, such as pneumococcal vaccine and Haemophilus influenza type B HIV, vaccine, do not provide protection against the new coronavirus. The virus is so new and different that it needs its own vaccine. Researchers are trying to develop a vaccine against 2019 NCOV, and WHO is supporting their efforts. Although these vaccines are not effective against 2019 NCOV, vaccination against respiratory illnesses is highly recommended to protect your health. Can eating garlic help prevent infection with the new coronavirus? Garlic is a healthy food that may have some antimicrobial properties. However, there is no evidence from the current outbreak that eating garlic has protected people from the new coronavirus. Does the new coronavirus affect older people, or are younger people also susceptible? People of all ages can be infected by the new coronavirus 2019 NCOV. Older people, and people with pre-existing medical conditions, such as asthma, diabetes, heart disease, appear to be more vulnerable to becoming severely ill with the virus. WHO advises people of all ages to take steps to protect themselves from the virus, for example by following good hand hygiene and good respiratory hygiene. Are antibiotics effective in preventing and treating the new coronavirus? No, antibiotics do not work against viruses, only bacteria. The new coronavirus 2019 NCOV, is a virus and, therefore, antibiotics should not be used as a means of prevention or treatment. However, if you are hospitalized for the 2019 NCOV, you may receive antibiotics because bacterial co-infection is possible. Are there any specific medicines to prevent or treat the new coronavirus? To date, there is no specific medicine recommended to prevent or treat the new coronavirus 2019 NCOV. However, those infected with the virus should receive appropriate care to relieve and treat symptoms, and those with severe illness should receive optimized supportive care. Some specific treatments are under investigation, and will be tested through clinical trials. WHO is helping to accelerate research and development efforts with a range of partners. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos.